One. Blockbuster. Dialogue one. Hi, Nancy. Where's New? I got two tickets just now. Let's catch a flick. Sounds nice. Is there anything worthwhile? Madagascar two. Escape Africa. That must be a blockbuster. I don't even know if I'm black with white stripes or white with black stripes. See, that zebra is really funny in the Madagascar one. Come on, I can't wait. Dialogue two. Hi, Rose. Have you watched Eight Below? Of course, a movie lover as me. How do you find the movie? You know I love it so much, especially those cuddly dogs. So have you planned to buy a sled dog? Oh, that should be great, but I have had a Chihuahua. Breeding two dogs together is not a big deal. Come on, I'm already pissed off by the little. He pees everywhere and barks all day long. I have been getting interested in raising a sled dog. Two, music fan. Dialogue one. Mike, have you heard new hit single of Black Eyed Peas? Not yet. Did they release a new album? Oops. What's wrong? Hey, come on. I just focus on something else recently. Okay, sorry, but my humps hits the chart of Billboard Top Ten this week. Is that spending all your money on me and on me? You bet. Sounds cool. Have you heard that they may give gigs somewhere? No. Dialogue two. What kind of music do you like, Lee? It's hard to say, but I prefer folk music. What about hip hop? Oh, it's so difficult for me to understand the rap. Sometimes I can't either. They always create new slang. I think the lyrics have so many violence and sex affairs in it. Yep, you are right. Why don't they sing something beautiful like love and friendship? Who knows? Maybe they want to indicate the changing society. Sorta. Aha! You got it. Three. Showbiz. Dialogue one. Hey, have you heard that Angelina Juliet is pregnant? She just gave birth to a twin. The star says it might be the twin again. Again? Oh my! She is on the ball in pregnancy. Let's see. Mad, Pax, Z, Shiloh, Vivian, Knox, and the two newcomers, plus the couple. They could be a soccer team. She must be on top of the world because she once said she loves to take challenge. But don't you think it's weird to have so many kids? That might be the reason they keep to be point men. Do you mean it is the way to hype? Who knows? Dialogue two. Hey, Bill, what's that? The latest tape of Paris Hilton, Naked in Bath. Once again, I don't like her. But how could we hate her? An American media's princess? She's just a babe. A babe? Do you call an American socialite, heiress, television personality, businesswoman, actress, author, singer, and model a babe? She's frank, nice, but doesn't know how to hide, how to protect herself. Do you mean she is still wet behind the ears, even she owns so many titles? Kinda. Is naked tape radio the only way she uses to catch paparazzi's camera? I don't know, but I know she is a fat cat and she can do anything she wants. Four. Football match. Dialogue one. 
May I join in you? Come on, Barcelona is playing Numancia. Barcelona is in excellent trim. Oh, I missed the first half. Was there any goal? No, only two yellow cards of each team. What about Lionel Messi? Just at 50th, Alves makes a header to the goal area and Messi is scored on a push. He is really a big gun. He is always a threat to the Numancy defense with his darting runs and pace. Numancia knew what they were doing on the pitch, but Barcelona is lucky to have good players. Dialogue 2 Here comes Davis and a goal. It's a dream start for Newcastle. What a way to answer his critics. Don't speak so soon. Look. Luis has got a chance to shoot here. Oh, it's in! It is level 1-1. And now number 11, Robert. A free header. They've conceded two goals in quick succession without reply. That's a devastating blow for Newcastle. Now, can they come back from it? 5. NBA Tournament Dialogue 1. I like watching NBA. Same here. NBA is the highest level professional basketball league. Right. Although it has been founded about only 60 years, it has become one of the best commercial operated sports. Now NBA has 30 teams, about 1,000 players. So cool. NBA is the kingdom of money. If you have fantastic skills, can bring the victory to your team and bring the happiness to your fans. Then you will be a super money bag. But I think the most important thing, also the most enjoyable thing, is watching the NBA games. Dialogue 2 Did you see the game last morning? Of course. There was nobody that wants to miss this significant battle. It was very important for the Rockets to entry the playoff. Yeah, and the Lakers did not want to lose their leading position, so they played a very intense game for basketball fans. Frankly speaking, I thought the Lakers didn't make every effort to play this game. Why do you have this idea? The Lakers superstar... Kobe did not attend this match. But others of the Lakers played a great match, did not they? That is right, so I was basically satisfied with the game. 6. Shopping Mall Promotion Dialogue 1 Hi Nancy, where are you going? The shopping mall over the cross. What are you going to buy? All the brands are in sales promotion, even 80% off the price. Really? Can I go with you? I haven't dreamt a fur coat for a long time. It's the very time to buy. You don't need to tighten the belt. Right, it costs an arm and a leg in a non-promotion season. But don't hold your breath. It's not the first day of the promotion. It doesn't matter. Just have a look. Dialogue 2 Look at the catalog, John. I think I want to get this red blouse. This is on sale now. Don't you have one like this in blue? Yeah, but I don't have a red one. Do you need every color in the rainbow? Yes, I won't miss that. Woman, how do you prepare to pay for that? I will use my credit card for that. But credit cards still have to be paid off. You are just like my old grandma. Once I get a job, I'll pay them off immediately. 7. Fashion Trend Dialogue 1 Are you doing needlework? Uh-huh. I just want to make something for my baby. It's called cross-stitch. It's really a knockout. Is that difficult? It's quite easy. 
Firstly, you can buy a pack of material and make the needle in X shape. Make sure the stitch covers the thread of four directions. It sounds complicated. It's not my style. Sweetie, someday you will marry someone. You need to learn this. Plenty of fish in the sea. Why not I find someone who knows how to do this? Dialogue 2 Mike said you just came back from India. Yes, I went there to learn the professional yoga. You know India is the cradle of yoga. Sounds great. Is it really good for body? Of course. Yoga is a traditional physical and mental discipline. Each pose is a benefit to the relevant part of your body, like bridge pose, cat pose. Why not run a club in this community and teach us? I still need to kick around with family. Don't worry, I can sell your parents on this idea. 8. Traveling Dialogue 1 How about your last trip in Yunnan? Jane and I are planning to go there. It was really a wonderful trip. The snow mountains, old towns, and warmly minorities all reminded me of the old times. What do I need to pay attention to? That's the point. Try to knock off a half when you want to buy something. The sellers always like to push those tourists around. Something else? Take some medicine with you, especially on car sickness. Oh, I nearly forgot it. Will little Jack go along with you? No, he will be here with his grandma. That's a short trip, and I don't want to have a third wheel. Dialogue 2 What do you plan to do in your vacation? I plan to go abroad. Where do you plan to go? London. Well, that's interesting. You'll visit the Big Ben, will you? Of course. Maybe I can go when I have enough money. It's not expensive. How much? One thousand dollars. It is still a big sum for me. Nine. X Games. Dialogue One. Dad, could you tell me something about X Games? Honey, why do you want to know that? I'm preparing for my homework. Let's get the ball rolling. There are two big competitions. Winter X Games and Summer X Games, both held in United States. How many games do they have? Now, the current games include seven categories, like Freestyle BMX, Motocross, Skateboarding, Rallying, Skiing, Snowboarding, and Snowmobiling. What about bungee jumping? It can be a game, but not for professional competition. Oh, okay, that's enough. Here are some references for you. Keep your behavior. Dialogue 2 Before we climb, make sure you have all necessaries on you. Bob, tell me what they are. Rope, helmet, climbing shoes, harness, and belay devices. Well done. You have practiced several times on our indoor climbing wall. But this time, the aim is totally different. It's real rock. You mean that we have no bolts to rely on, right? Not exactly. As this is your first time climbing on rock, we have already pre-placed several bolts. What about the handholds? That depends on your own experience. But make sure if the handholds are loose or not. Will you lead the route? No, nope, I'll hit you with the problem. 10. In Gymnasium Dialogue 1 Good morning, madam. What can I do for you? I want to join in your club. Welcome. 
What kind of cards do you want to buy? We offer three kinds: one year, half a year, and one month. What about the cost? Fifteen hundred, eight hundred, and two hundred for each. What games can I practice? All kinds of games in our club, like belly dance, yoga, ballet, swimming, and so on. Sounds nice. Let's jump on it. I'm sorry, madam. We still need your ID card copy. Oh my God! I lost it. Dialogue two. Before we practice, who can tell me the origin of belly dance? Is that from Middle East? Correct. It's a term for a traditional Arab dance form. In Arabic language, it refers to a dance of country. How do we master belly rolls? That's the core of the dance. Before we learn that, let's do some warming up. Stand still. Put your hands anywhere comfortable. Anywhere comfortable? Don't butt in, please. Suck in your gut and try to push your belly button back to touch the spine. Hold it. Hold it as long as you can. How do we adjust breath? Okay, relax and breathe. That can help us to keep our stomach flat. Repeat this movement several times a day. It comes easily. Eleven. Secret of beauty. Dialogue one. Ling, I heard that some of Chinese cuisine are very useful to keep women pretty. Of course, the Chinese cuisine can be traced back to some four hundred thousand years ago. Could you tell me some dishes that I could try at home? Which effect do you want to try? Effect? Whitening, slimming, zit problem, or cup upping? I see. Whitening. Why not use papaya and milk? Peel a papaya, rinse and cut into chunks. Boil the water. Put the papaya chunks into water. Stew for ten minutes. And put a pack of milk. After two minutes, remove and wait until cool. Sprinkle the two teaspoons of honey and serve. No wonder you are always in pink. Dialogue two. What should I do, Lucy? What's wrong? I just saw some flecks on my face. How to get rid of them? Oh. My mom once told me to eat tomatoes because it contains much vitamin C. Does it work? A little. I usually use juicer to squeeze tomatoes and add some honey. God, how long should I drink? I have a date with Jack tomorrow. Dear, hold your horses. Right, beauty comes in lovers' eyes. That's it. Don't have a cow. Twelve. Shopping online. Dialogue one. Valentine's Day again, Mike. Yes. Have you booked the rose? Not yet. Fifty bucks for just one rose. That's really a ripoff. But you still need to. Come on. I'll give you a good gimmick. I bought it online yesterday and asked them to deliver today. Does it save bucks? You bet, more than a half, because it was still a common stuff yesterday. You are so shrewd. Just click the mouse, and you can also kill two birds with one stone. Dialogue two. I saw a beautiful necklace on eBay. Give me the link. It's something like the new stuff of Swarovski. Oh my good! Three hundred yuan? What a bargain! It's a purchasing agent of Austria. What's their share? They take fifteen percent of purchasing charges. That's a good traffic. So, how many do you want to buy? Oh, I'd like to, but I'm a little bit strapped for cash. Thirteen. 
e business. Dialogue 1 Where are you going, Zoe? I'm going to book plane tickets nearby. Hey, it's after hours. Oh, I forgot it. You are so corny. It's all e business now. Why don't you book online? Online? I'll show you. Register your information on this web. Choose the airline and the date you want to depart. Choose the way of payment and check your information. And done. That's cool. Almost everything can be done online. I'm no spring chicken and cannot catch up with you young guys. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, boss. We got a sticky problem now. Go on. There is with the products we booked last week on eBay. Something wrong? Nearly 50% are fake commodities. Here we go again. I told you not to buy a pig in a poke many times. So, how can I do now? Call Mr. Brown to postpone the delivery date and give me a report of the detail. Ask James to see me. Such a stupid purchasing manager. Relax, boss. 14. Digital Products Dialogue 1 Darling, it's for you. Oh, you are so sweet, but what's this? It's called MP4 Player, a portable USB TV dongle. A TV? I know you have a passion for an iPod, but this one is better. That's cute from the appearance. It's the new item that AIGO launched a month ago. You can use it to watch TV, listen to the radio on mobile devices. Also, plug the dongle into computer to download films and novels. That sounds great. How many channels can it receive? Till now, it can only be used in some big cities covering with HD TV signals. Maybe nearly 10 channels. But do we need to pay for the signal? That's free, but I'm not sure if it's still free years later. Dialogue 2 Morning, Grandma. Mary and I decide to go outing and take some pictures. Wait for a moment. Where are you going? To fetch the camera for you. Come on, we don't need that. My cell phone has the same function. Cell phone? You were kidding. This camera is your grandpa's favorite. It's Pentax. Oh, Grandma, it's totally outdated. Look, I can use my cell phone surfing, sending emails, downloading cool songs, and taking photos. Really? How can you get these pictures out so I can hang them on the wall? Use Bluetooth. Bluetooth? How about my false tooth? 15. Cell phone. Dialogue 1. I'm sensing you're a bit apprehensive. I lost my cell phone on the bus this morning. How careless you are. You know, glass houses, stones. Why not buy a new one? That one is outdated. To buy a new one is not a big deal. But what about the hundreds of telephone numbers? Why didn't you write them down on a notebook before? You know people get their phone loss every day. It doesn't mean they don't contact with friends. Give me your laptop. What are you doing? Just try to leave message to my clients through MSN. Dialogue 2 Julia, I'm really well away today. What happens? The short message I got this morning said that I won the lottery. Let me have a look. Our company are doing lottery, and your cell phone number is in the list. Congratulations for the first award a laptop at the price of 15,000 RMB.
See, I told you I'm a lucky dog. Come on, Anne, you don't believe that, do you? I do, but after I called them and asked how I could get my computer, they asked me to deposit 500 yuan to a certain account as the tax. That's preposterous. Most of them just be up to something. Really? 16. Dink Family Dialogue 1 Darling, we need to talk. Okay, sweetie. What's wrong? We just got married, and I really want a life, just you and me. The current life is just the one you want, honey. I mean, I don't want someone be in our way. Hey, I'm not that kind of guy. We vowed in the wedding ceremony to be faithful. No, no, I have to rip the band-aid off. Someone is... is... the baby. Oh, the baby. You don't like baby? I thought you like. Our work is too busy and stressful, and we can't find any more time and energy to raise a kid. That's right. So, it's your turn to talk with your parents. Dialogue 2 Hey, Mike, where are you going to be? I'm gonna camping with my wife. You look so detached. Aha, uh -huh. we don't need to take care of baby. That will save us much time. You don't like kids, do you? Not exactly, but we prefer to a freer and easier life. Going outing, hiking, watching films as we like. But what about your parents? They become older and older, and must be eager to see their grandson. Life is ours and should be decided by us. Oh, it really sucks. 17. Children's Education Dialogue 1 Lee, have you started prenatal education? Not yet. I just finished the sonogram, and the doctor said that it could hear my voice and other sounds now. Now you can listen to some soft music, like Chopin, Beethoven. But I really prefer to the kind like hip-hop. That will make your baby restless and fretful. And talk with him or tell him some fairy tales when you feel he flops around. You've got me. Can I just read books? That's okay, but the direct communication is better. I'm not in that mood. I got a lot of articles to translate. Oh, do you think he will be easy to learn English? For I always do translation. Maybe. Dialogue 2 You look so tired. Yes, so exhausted with my kid. Did you bring her back from your parents' home? I can't let her be away from me for so long time, and she needs to go to school. To be a single mom is really tough. You two must be drifted apart. Definitely. You know grandparents always dote on their grandsons and make them outrageous, calling someone names and shouting in front of the guests. How come? By the way, where is she? She is grounded. Come on, she is just a little girl. 18. Generation Gap Dialogue 1 It's cool, isn't it, Mom? But I don't think the color matches you. What about the pink one? I'm not a little girl. You always want me to dress in pink or something. But girls are girls, not to mention it's cute. It's not cute, it's childish, and I want something hot. What do you mean by hot? Sexy? You are just 14, honey. Julia got a cool t-shirt yesterday, and I have to knock her socks off. Julia always goes behind her mother's back. Why can't she? Dialogue 2 Why do you come home so late? 
I went to Times Square to get Eminem's signature. Who's Eminem? A rapper. His music is really cool. A rapper? Do you think rap belongs to music? Absolutely. It's one of the four elements of hip hop. The real music is something makes you comfortable, eased, and relaxed. Rap is just like someone murmuring. Mom, you are slipping. It's not the year with Beatles, Eagles singing "California Dream" or something. It's 21st century. But they are what people old like me to keep life interesting. Nineteen. Life in later years. Dialogue one. How do old people in China support themselves when they become old? We can rely on our children and also endowment insurances. But what if one doesn't rear children or have no social insurances? Try to save as much money as they can when they are still young. We seldom rely on our children; they have their own life. Most of the old choose bead house for their rest life. That's forlorn. In China, to have a boy is a big issue for every family. Boy is considered as family pillar and takes responsibility to support their parents. What about if one has no boy but girl? Some people keep on giving birth until they have a boy. Sometimes it costs a big fine. I cannot understand that. But both girls and boys can be successful people. Dialogue two. Mom, come on, let's go home. I don't want to go back home. I like to stay in this bead house. People in our community are talking about us as a gossip. Just whatever will be, will be. Why don't you think of me? I'm your son. I have responsibility to take care of you. I like here, and I got many friends sharing same interests and hobbies. We play cards, sing old songs, and recall the nostalgic times. Anyway, you need to go with me. You can't order me around like I'm a child. You have back-breaking work from sunup to sundown, and it's time for you to enjoy a happy life. Twenty, mixed marriages. Dialogue one. Look at the twins, like Barbie. Are they mixed blood? Yes, my husband is French. No wonder. Is it easier to have twins if one has a foreign husband or wife? I don't know. I'm the lucky one. Tell your husband if any of his friends is available, we can have a date. Any of his friends? I mean, single and also French. Okay, a blind date. All I dream is to have a mixed blood baby like yours. Dialogue two. Mike, are you ready? Not yet. I feel nervous, May. Have you remembered what I told you last night? Sort of. Your occupation, your age. Income. If you decide to settle down, if you like to have kids, etc. That's too private. We don't like to talk personal income and age. Do you want to marry me? Yes, I do. But come on, Mike. This is China, not your America. Okay, let me rehearse. I'm a sales manager, thirty-one years old. After I get married. May is in charge of family income, and we will live in Beijing and try to afford an apartment, and we will have kids soon. Oh, Mike, you look so sharp today. Twenty-one. Cuddly pets. Dialogue one. Have you heard the America's cutest pet competition? Tell me. The winners can receive a fourteen-carat gold pendant. Oh, that's great! How can I take part in? 
Digital photos of pets can be uploaded to the site and then voted upon in order to determine America's cutest pet. It's just for my Jack. He adores eating and chewing slippers. So that's why I come to tell you immediately. Jack deserves to win. When will the competition run? This weekend. So hurry up to get registered. Thanks so much. Jack, come on, let's move. Dialogue 2. What about your bulldog Winston? She has given birth to six puppies. Really? Winston's really a great mother. Such a purebred in a small town. How do you find the very breeder? I published a note on Yahoo, and someone with the conditions can contact me. I heard that the male bulldog has such short legs and needs help when mating. Is the question five cans short of a six pack? Great question. Not stupid. They must be taken to the vet for artificial insemination because of their weak rears. What a poor dog. 22. Price Rising. Dialogue 1. Mike, where is your car? In my garage. He is in holiday. Is there anything wrong? Do I need to introduce a good repair plant? Not something wrong, but the oil price. The era of cheap oil is over. The International Energy Agency warned yesterday, as it predicted, crude values would soon rebound to above $100 a barrel. My God, above $100 a barrel. How can we afford a car? I'm going to buy a bicycle. The prediction doesn't even have a PL. Maybe things will look up soon. Dialogue 2. Where are you going, Mrs. Lee? To supermarket. Wait for a second. I get my purse. Have you ever heard that the price of cooking oil will be increased? It was just increased a month ago. Let's fight to get our hands on some cheap cooking oil, or it will be sold out later. The government always says the new policies would be carried out soon, but the price is still hanging on there. Who cares? Even the price of vegetables and pork is soaring, not to mention the cooking oil. Is there any way we can voice our opinion to someone who is in charge of this? Just fly low and avoid radar. 23. Food Security. Dialogue 1. Hi, Kate. How are you doing? So so. I just took Tom to see the doctor. What's wrong with him? Haven't you heard about the baby formula issue? Oh, that's terrible. A lot of babies have developed kidney stones because of the formula. I was so worried about Tom, but anyway, he is okay. I read newspaper this morning. Melamine was deliberately added to infant formula to make it appear to have a higher protein content. Such a Sunday saint. The manufacturers show their good image, like to provide the best to all the babies. While doing sordid business, we don't know. God damn it! I hope I could raise a cow. Dialogue 2. Come on, let's go home. I'll make you some tofu. I don't want tofu. Why not? That will give you the much nutrition. I want hamburgers and hot dogs to be strong. Sorry, honey, you'd better not. Why not? I'm starved to die. The newspaper said they found Sudan red dye in fried chickens. It's harm to people. What is Sudan red dye? Like my Barbie's red hair? Kind of dye material for industry. It cannot be used in food. 24. Fast Food. Dialogue 1. Mrs. Carlos, can I have a second talking with you? Come and sit here, sweetie. 
I'm going to write a book review about the dark side of the all-American meal. Would you like to tell me something about your point of view? That's an interesting topic. The book is written by investigative journalist Eric Schlosser. It examines the local and global influence of the United States fast food industry. It is said that since the 1970s, there has been a steady decline in the fast food industry. Exactly. A generation ago, three quarters of the money is used to buy food in the U.S. was spent to prepare meals at home. That's the main point. While today, about half of that same money is spent in restaurants, mainly fast food restaurants. That's why about 2,000 new McDonald's are opening each year. Mom says the food there contains excessive calories and is no good for people, especially for our kids. That's right, but the sit-in ratio is still higher because it's quick service. Dialogue two. The Western fast food industry moves rapidly in China. But in my opinion, fast food is more suitable to the Western lifestyle. That's a common misunderstanding. Don't you eat hamburgers or chips every day? I do, but not every day. In fact, according to the survey, nine of the world's top ten markets for fast food are in the Asia Pacific region. The world's three top fast food brands. McDonald's, KFC, and Pizza Hut are all from America. But two out of three Americans avoid these kinds of places. The burgers, pizza, and fried chicken cannot represent the real American menu. Twenty-five. Cooking food. Dialogue one. Hi, Haruko. I have something to ask you. I'd like to help. This weekend is our fifth wedding anniversary. My wife wants to try Japanese sushi. Could you introduce some Japanese cuisine for me? Aha! You find the right person. There are various types of sushi: sushi served rolled inside, dried and pressed layered sheets of seaweed or algae. Called mikazushi or rolls, sushi made with toppings laid with hand-formed clumps of rice, called nigiri sushi, toppings stuffed into a small pouch of fried tofu, called inari sushi, and toppings served scattered over a bowl of sushi rice, called chirashi sushi. I am confused. It doesn't matter. After you get to the entrance of the restaurant. You should pass through a short curtain, peel open from the left. Before you sit at the front of the counter, you should ask the customer aside if the seat is available. Anything more? That's just the beginning. Japan is the country with courtesy and traditions. Give me a break. We'd better change a local restaurant. Dialogue two. I know the most famous dish here is Peking duck. I'd like to try. Absolutely, it is considered one of the Chinese traditional dishes. In Beijing, there are two notable restaurants, Chuan Jiuda and Bian Yi Fang. Oh, I know Chuan Jiuda. They have opened the branch in my city, so I want to try if the flavor is the same. Any kind of foodstuff once diverted to other countries would lose its original flavor because of the different raw materials and water qualities. Why does the meat taste thin, crispy? Ducks bred specially for the dish are slaughtered after 65 days and seasoned before being roasted in a closed and hung oven for 24 hours. While it is hung. The duck is glazed with a layer of maltose syrup. Oh, it's amazing! I saw the chef slicing the meat in front of the table. How many slices do you think a good chef can make? Forty or more. Nearly ninety slices. Twenty-six. 
26. Healthcare. Dialogue 1. Hey, Susan, how about your trip to China? Lee, I encountered several shocking things. What are they? One is that all the soup is served after the meal. Chinese people like to have soup at the end or during the meal. We think that the soup is beneficial to digestion. But we always have soup before dinner. It is good for your health. Having soup before dinner can lubricate the intestine and stomach, then promote digestion. Perhaps you are right. We should change our eating order. Dialogue 2 What's wrong, Susan? Hey, Lee, I got cold. That's too bad. Come in and have a seat. I will make you a cup of tea. Thanks, Lee. But Mike is waiting for me at the cinema. I can't leave him hanging. You come down with cold that requires bed rest and fluids. Come in and give him a call. That's not an official date. All right. Here you are. Drink it quickly as it is hot. Oh, what's that? Something like ginger slice? Ginger is a spice and often used for cooking. It's also consumed whole as a Chinese herbal medicine to warm your body. And what's the little red one? It's called Chinese wolfberry, often used for making tea to against human pathogenic bacteria. 27. Chinese Medical Therapy Dialogue 1 Lee, I have something wrong with my shoulder. Sit down. Lower your neck. Let me have a try. Are you kidding? Before I come here, I have learnt something about acupuncture gua sha. Is it hurt? A little bit. Its effects can be similar to that of massage and is used often just for muscle relaxation. Okay, try on me. I'd like to be a hamster. How do you work? I got an ox horn made edge, and I'm going to oil your neck skin surface, press down firmly, and then move down with each stroke being about four to six inches long. Oh, it hurts. Let me have a look. It turns red. This causes extra visations of blood from the peripheral capillaries and may result in subcutaneous blemishing, which usually takes two to four days to fade. Dialogue 2 Lee, have you suffered insomnia before? No, I sleep tight every night. I just come to ask if you know how to deal with my bad sleep problem. Are you in some trouble recently? Perhaps you think so much about that. No, everything goes smoothly. I feel hot and sweaty in the evening. Feel hot and sweaty. That's something with your weak kidneys. Maybe there is something wrong with your yin and yang. Chinese medicine believes that these two factors should be balanced. How should I do? There are two herbs for this problem. Qian shi, a plant of water lily family, and du zhong, a Chinese native tree's bark. I will write an herbal prescription for you, and you go to the Tong Zhen Tang to get the herbals. Okay. 28. To study abroad. Dialogue 1. Mary, have you thought about what you are going to do after graduation? Yes, I think I'm going to go abroad to study more. What would you like to study abroad? I'm eager to learn translation. I hear that the computer science is your major. You are right, but I am not interested in it at all. I'm enthusiastic about English. You mean that you want to change your profession? Yes, I want to study what I'm interested in. So have you prepared TOEFL and GRE test? I'm preparing them these days. 
Dialogue 2. Sarah, how about your visa? Have you passed it? No, but I don't know why. Tell me what kind of questions the visa officer asked. Just some common questions. The university I applied, the major, the tuition resource, the job I used to work, and the plan after finishing the course. What's your answer? Just tell him the truth. My God, I got the reason why you are denied. Why? You used to be a software engineer, right? And the major you will take is also related. So what? For the VO, they are too sensitive, especially after 9-11 events. You have several years of working experiences on software engineering and are easy to find a job in American after finishing the postgraduate courses. I don't understand. Is that the pivot? Exactly. And by the way, you are still single. If you were married, the result would be the opposite. I'm wiped out. This is the second time. Maybe I should marry someone first. 29. Postgraduate's Fever Dialogue 1 Leo, long time no see. Where have you been? I just quit the job and put my concentration on the imminent postgraduate exam at home. You are so great. Why do you want to be back to the campus? I mean, you can take a postgraduate course after you finish the work. That's not my style. I just can't understand a man like you at 35 would quit the job in current financial slump. Actually, I have planned to change my job for a long time. Since the job market is so bleak, why can't I go back to campus and fulfill myself? And two years later, when the situation thaw, that will be my balmy spring. But how do you support your family? Sarah's job is more stable and just got the pay rise. Dialogue 2 Lucy, would you like to go to the job fair with me? Sorry. I have to prepare for my postgraduate exam and civil servant recruitment exam. You have signed up for two exams? Such a crazy girl. I'm forced to. It is said that there will be 1,040,000 applicants competing for 13,566 vacancies in civil servant recruitment exam. A chance of 1.3%. Come on, give me a break. I'm not packing heat. That's truth. Every opportunity is awash with graduates. So do the two exams you take. Sometime I think it is just the way to elude the reality. Have you ever thought one question? Most of students have the same opinions with you. So what will come to end after you finish the two-year study? I don't know. Just cross the bridge when I come to it. 30. To be a Soho. Dialogue 1. Susan, how eased you are. Always have much time to poke around. Aha! We just got a new renovated system in our company. So you don't need to be a regular 9 to 5. That's admirable. The regular 9 to 5 means boring and unfulfilling to me. I have no time to take care of my kids and do housework. How does your boss be so liberal and open-minded? We usually need to sit there for a whole day to wait if there is something to be translated. Might have half month with nothing to do. That's waste of time. That's true. The internet is so convenient. It's not impossible to work at home. So that's what we talked with our boss, and he finally realized the fact and agreed. 
How I wish I could have the same work as you do. Dialogue 2 Mike, what are you up to? Susan, can we just talk for a sec? No problem. I quit my job yesterday. What? Mike, why didn't you discuss with me first? You have two kids. How can you rear them without work? I know what I'm doing. I want to start up my own business to run a clown express. A clown express? You need to rent a place and hire several staff members. What about our garage? We can redecorate it and make it like a home office. And you and I, we two do the whole business, as the staff and the boss. Okay. I also have a chance to hitch a ride. Honey, I'm at the start of an incredible journey, and you are going to be there every step of the way, cheering me on. 31. Job hunting is too hard. Dialogue 1. What happened? You look so desperate. I have sent out 50 copies of resume but got no reply. Is there anything wrong with your cell phone number? It's impossible. I double checked. What kind of company do you want to work for? World Top 500. Come on. You need to be clear about something. The job market being piled with millions of graduates, postgraduates, and overseas returnees is not a paradise. Working for Top 500 is my dream. Don't be a chooser. Those HR specialists got backlog of diversified resumes. Who will focus on yours? So what should I do? Just accept some meaningless jobs? Every job has its value. Working for a couple of years and then you will have more chances to hop. Dialogue 2 Nancy, what about your job fair? It's bullshit. What happened? I found several companies employing the positions are appropriate to me, and I handed in the resume. Guess what they said. What? You are excellent, but I'm sorry to tell you we just want to employ someone with doctor degree. Why? I also want to know a reason. The position they pinned on the wall is just something like department secretary, HR assistant. You can do it. They don't need to find higher degree or they might pay more. Who knows? I almost freak out. 32. Individual Initiative Dialogue 1 I just came back from Job Counseling Center. Is there something you've got? They just told me not to be blind or pessimistic, changing pressure into motivation, lowering expectations, enhancing work capabilities, and willing to start from the lowest position may allow me to catch more work opportunities. Start from the lowest position? Yes. Start from the bottom and work towards the top. It sounds like to start one's own business. Well, why do we do something by ourselves? You mean to start our own business? Come on! Better start our own business two or three years down the road. We know nothing about the society. Maybe you are right. It will be good for us to come in on the ground floor. Dialogue 2 I don't want to go to job fair anymore. It's really boring. What's your plan? I plan to start up my own business. What kind of business? A store specialized for t-shirts. I know a foreigner opening a t-shirt store at Nan Luo Guxiang called Plastered 8. The guy designs himself and prints something quite interesting on, like Wei Renmin Fu Wu, Gongbao Ji Ding, and so on. 
It's cool, very traditional Chinese style. So I would like to negotiate with him if he can appoint me as his agent. You're really something. Aha, it's time for me to go for my dance. 33. Job Hopping Dialogue 1 Dear, have you finished your resignation? Yes, but I haven't handed it in yet. Why not? I'm afraid my boss will refuse me. He won't, I promise. He also spent the same days. But to tell you the truth, the boss I will work with in my new company is acquainted with the current one. Do you think they have made some communication before I hand in the letter? I have no clue. Perhaps not. They won't say, Hey, your staff will hop to my company. That's silly. God bless me. I'm tired of my current job. Dialogue 2 Why do more people hop from job to job instead of sticking with one job all their lives? It means new chance and new challenge. Just as the old Chinese saying goes, man struggles upwards, water flows downwards. That's right. But I'd like to stick with one job. It's 21st century, and nobody will stick with one job anymore. We like to change and get a higher payment. Does every new job mean higher payment? Not exactly. When graduates come out for a job after finishing their campus life, most of them got the first job correspondingly. Once they have been working for some years and got some experience, they begin job hopping in order to get more pay. Therefore, job hopping becomes a fashion. But I think frequent job hopping is not a good thing to promote one's career. Yes, most of companies do not like to employ those changing jobs time and time again. 34. Wealth Gap Dialogue 1 Susan, how about your trip to Western China? I was deeply shocked by the living quality there. What do you mean? I mean the meagerness of daily commodities and medical care services. Oh, that's true. It was the first time I saw the trench latrine. Kids with naked hips run everywhere. As they saw me, I was immediately surrounded with curious eyes, asking what I held in hands. They even have no idea about cell phone or camera. The gap between the rich and the poor in Western China enlarges rapidly. I don't understand why people living in such backward areas don't find the way to develop. That's because of the education. Graduates are not willing to go there for teaching due to the poor condition and low income, and parents there have no enough money to support their children coming to cities for school. Education level decides everything. That hits the point. The only thing they can do is to keep on back-breaking farm work from sunup to sundown. Dialogue 2 Lee, besides education, what else do you think can be the reason for wealth gap? Child's number in each family. Why? In the past, people, especially rural people, like to have boys. They think that boy is the pillar of a family. Girl is raised for others. So, when a woman gave birth to a baby, she was asked to have babies one by one till the family got a boy. Oh, that's weird. We like both boys and girls. You're right. Chinese people hold the total different concept. So the concept causes that every family reared at least five to six children. How could they raise so many under such a poor condition? 
Yes, children would grow up and get married and get support from their parents. You mean the cost for wedding and dwelling? Exactly. People in the coastal area are much more open minded in children rearing, so the gap also enlarges. 35. Holiday economy. Dialogue 1. Mike, I want to sign up in travel agency for us. The national holiday is approaching. Oh, how time flies. Which route? I prefer to five day Chinese scenic spots package tour of the Great Wall, the Summer Palace, Terracotta Warriors, and the Big Goose Pagoda, 1,600 RMB each. That merits. But don't you think there would be so many visitors piling into a hot line? Golden Week holiday is surely the peak season of tourism. Okay, let me think about it. Time is limited. We must make our decision before the deadline. The route is among their promotion. They are about to make a fortune of us. Dialogue 2 Susan, come on, let's go shopping today. Sorry, Sarah, I can't buy more. Oh, when did you go? Why don't call me together? The following day after the holiday began, I went to Times Square and bought many items, from dresses to shoes. I almost went into bankruptcy. What a shopaholic you are. You cannot blame me. Sales, promotions, ads, pins everywhere, like shopping spree. Women always act on impulse. It's really difficult to control. I have spent 3,000 on shopping within two days. Holiday is really the vampire. You need a chill out for the next few days. 36. Smoke abatement. Dialogue 1. Dad, could you please not smoke at home? Oh, Jerry. I have turned on the extractor fan, and the smoke will disappear soon. I can't bear the smell at all. I'm sorry, Jerry, but what can I do for you? Stopping smoking? Oh, it's too difficult for me. The most important is smoking is harmful, not only for yourself, but for others. I know. Maybe I should have a try. Dialogue 2. Excuse me, madam. Yes? You don't mind if I smoke here, do you? In fact, yes, I do. I'm sorry, but I think I can smoke here because it's not a non smoking section. Am I right? Well, it's a non smoking section indeed. Look at the sign on the wall. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see it. Not at all. But there may be a smoking section somewhere else. 37. House decoration. Dialogue 1. I'd like to have my new house decorated. Well, how do you want to decorate it? As you know, I have no idea about the decoration. What should I do? The decoration company can do everything for you. The only thing you need to do is to tell the designer your ideas. Do you know any good decoration companies? No. You can ask your relatives or neighbors. Maybe they can give you some advice. Thank you. Dialogue 2. Excuse me, madam. How do you want to decorate your house? I want to paint the walls of the living room white. White looks clean and bright. As to the walls of the bedrooms, I want light yellow. Okay, I know. And the floor? What color would you like? I think brown is better. All right. Anything else? I love the open kitchen. 
and I want a wall lamp in the kitchen. The most important is the windows must be French windows. Okay, I'll call you as soon as I finish the blueprints. 38. Tenants. Dialogue 1. I want to find a new place somewhere near my university. Do you know any places? Well, I can ask around to see if anyone's got an apartment available. Thank you so much. It doesn't matter. What price range are you interested in? Somewhere between 800 to 1,000 yuan. Anything you need to have in the place? Nothing special. A living room, a kitchen, and a bedroom. That's enough. Okay, I know. Dialogue 2 Hello. Could I speak to Mrs. Smith, please? This is Mrs. Smith speaking. Who's that? Well, I saw your housing ad on the internet. I'd like to know if it's available now. Yes. Would you mind telling me what the apartment is like? Of course not. It's not big, but well fully equipped. The refrigerator is new, and the air conditioner and the washing machine are only five months old. Is there an elevator there? Sure. It operates 24 hours a day. The rent is 200 pounds, right? Are utilities included in the rent? So it is. Can I come and have a look in the afternoon? Certainly. 39. Traffic Jams Dialogue 1 it's 8.45 now. I'm afraid I'll be late again. What's up? Traffic jams, of course. I left home a little earlier than usual in order to avoid the rush hour, but I'm still late. Why don't you try a different route? I think it doesn't work, to be honest. It seems that there are more and more cars on the road every single day. Unfortunately, what you said is right. Maybe we will have no roads to go in the future. It's really a pity for drivers. Dialogue 2 Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. I have been waiting for you for an hour. What took you so long? There's a terrible traffic jam, and that's why it took me two hours to get here. Perhaps it would be better if you took public transport. And it would be better for the environment as well. Well, when it's warmer, you can ride your bicycle to work. How is it? That's a good idea. I can take exercise by this way. 40. AIDS and Drugs Dialogue 1 Do you know that Dick got AIDS? I heard it just now. Oh, dear. Really? It's so terrible. I think it's because he's been too loose. Many young people like him are blind about careless sex. It is said that in just over 20 years, 20 million people have died of AIDS. Yes, they spread very fast and cases of AIDS are on increase. Something must be done to control it, in my opinion. In fact, the government has been making efforts to stop them from spreading. Dialogue 2 Look, there are so many people over there. What happened? Well, what's the date today? It's June 26. I know. Today is the International Anti-Drug Day. It's celebrated on June 26th every year. It may be for it, I guess. I heard each year a theme is established. What's the theme of this year? Keep off drugs and take care of our health. Let's go there and have a look. 41. Environmental Protection Dialogue 1 
Each of us couldn't survive without water. Water pollution is a big problem in China, especially in industrial cities. Yeah, one in four citizens has no clean water to drink. The situation is becoming more and more terrible. Some chemical factories are contributing to the high pollution levels in the water. I think our government should do something to try to solve the problem. They have done, but we can't just leave it to the government. There are lots of things we can do to protect the environment too. Right. If every one of us is water saving, for example, using the washing leftover to flush the toilet, more clean water will be used by others. Dialogue two. Don't drop batteries into the ash bin. Please give them to me. Why? Do you collect batteries for fun? No. Don't you know that when decomposed batteries will produce toxics, so we can't toss them. How many of them do you have now? About fifty. Well, could you tell me how you do with them? Just leave them at home? Of course not. There is a battery recycling location next to the post office. I'll take them there on weekend. Forty-two. Collecting things. Dialogue one. Hi, Susan. What are you going to do? I'm going to exchange stamps with some other collectors. Well, I don't know that you have collected stamps. May I look at your stamp album? Okay, here you are. Wow, you have so many beautiful stamps. How long have you collected them? For about one year, and I met lots of new friends while collecting them. So it is. I think it's a good interest, which can make your life more enjoyable. Thank you, and I'm able to learn about the world through collecting stamps. Dialogue two. Wow, your house is filled up with antiques. You are really a super fan. I think I am. I have spent about half my life collecting all these items. I guess you have spent lots of money on it, right? Yes, but just for fun. I never collect them as a kind of investment. I just have tried my best to collect antiques as many as possible. I have to say it again. You are really a super fan. Forty-three, financial crisis. Dialogue one. We are downsizing our workforce, and every one of our department is sensitive. Yeah, recently corporate downsizing has been on the rise throughout the world. Have you heard that Citigroup yesterday announced the axing of seventeen thousand jobs? So many at once. Yes. The cuts account for five percent of Citigroup's workforce. Oh, why so many cuts? The reason is quite simple: in an effort to halt increasing expenses. I think so. Whatever they do is to cut cost. All of these are relative to financial crisis. Sometimes it is difficult to determine how to deal with such things. Please keep calm. Nothing serious. Dialogue two. The U.S. financial crisis has plunged many Americans into debt. Yes, you are right. Everyone is crazy about his money, and the dollar is sinking. Actually, they are crazy about money all the time. Yeah, but now they are more serious about that. How did you know financial crisis in America? I read the magazines of America. In fact, the situation of America is appeared in every country's magazines and newspapers. Poor Americans. Forty-four. 
Stock investment. Dialogue one. You've been investing in stock market for such a long time. How do you feel? There are risks in stock market, and you may make money or lose money. Yeah, it is filled with risks all the time. I bought shares of two stocks. One is a steel stock, and the other is a technology stock. What happened then? The steel stock has gone up from 4.5 yuan to 13.5 yuan per share. That was a real great increase. What about the other one? It was down by two yuan per share. I lost ten thousand yuan. Dialogue two. Hi Sam, would you please help me analyze this graphic for a stock? Okay, this graph shows the trend of a stock at Shanghai Stock Exchange from October two thousand eight to March two thousand nine. How was it? As a whole, there was a major decrease over the period, but after that, the stock price rebound from the middle ten days of April this year. Thank you very much. I'll keep an eye on it. Good luck. Forty-five, buying a house on mortgage loan. Dialogue one. Tony, I have heard you decided to buy a new house. Is that true? Yeah, but look at the rising prices. How can I afford it? Well, I think you can get a loan. Er, too heavy a financial burden and a psychological pressure, you know. Oh, be realistic. You can't have your cake and eat it too. I know, but it's still a hard choice to make. Dialogue two. I have no chance to come across an ideal house. Oh, why don't you think of buying a second-hand house? I do, but those prices are also unreasonable. Then what do you think is a reasonable price? I think it should be between three thousand yuan and seven thousand yuan per square meter. I don't think the housing price is going higher and higher. The government will take some actions to control it. It's of no use. Actually, all home buyers feel worried about it. Maybe the macro control measures need time to take effect. There may be a bubble in the real estate market. Yes, it will burst sooner or later. Er. But I fear it will continue to rise at a greater price.